Hello everyone, Cat Weasel here, welcome to the channel and welcome back to Dawn of the Zeds 3rd edition, the basic game and we're playing turn 2 Righto, so I'm going to do another single turn here uh, the reason is it is still absolutely roasting hot the room that I do the playthroughs in, it's south facing, it gets the sun on it all day I can't open the window because everybody's in the gardens, so they're making a racket. So, um, and we don't have air conditioning in Britain, or very little. The reason for that is 360 days of the year we don't need it. So the five days that we do need it, we have to suffer. And suffer I am. So I'm going to do, <laughs> I'm just going to do a single turn, I'm afraid. Righto, so not wishing to hang around. What we'll do is uh, we'll get straight into the Zeds phase. And here we are at the Zeds phase. So the first thing to do is to see what the event card deck has for us. Nothing good as a rule. So we've got rule 7, cardio. Very good. Zombieland reference. And as you can see... We missed the first three out because it's the basic game, but unlike the last one, the text actually refers to the Zeds phase. As you can see, it's for that tab. So, and it says at the beginning of this phase, so we'll have a look at the movement in a while, but it is the suburbs track twice, so that's pretty grim. Place one new Zeds unit on an empty start space of your choice. So that is either the mountain track or the forest track. Probably the forest track. Otherwise, place it on a start space with the lowest strength. Z unit. Well, no, we don't have to do that. If and when a Z unit enters a space occupied by any civilians or hero unit this turn, you may freely retreat that unit instead of engaging in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Oh, that Z there. And there's another Z symbol that's sort of like uh, in a border. We don't have to bother about those. Those are co-op um, symbols, so we can ignore those. So this freely retreat start C rule 6.4. Right, I'm just going to check rule 6.4. Won't be a second. Okay, I've had a quick look. 6.4 is uh, regarding applying retreats. And I think this particular part of it that applies to this... Hang on, I'll just turn the page is withdrawing and backing up here, point six. Occasionally, play units will withdraw or back up, move back one space because of an ability, such as Mr. Johnson's traps or other circumstances. Withdrawing from a space and backing up work the same as retreat, but are not considered losing. This is important for brains events. So it's the card telling us that we can freely retreat. So I think that is fine. Okie doke. So just thought I'd better check that. Right oh. So let's get back to the card and finish off the Zeds phase. And we have two Z movements on the suburbs track. Which is quite it's a good job that we can freely retreat, as you will see. We've got a six strength. Oh, I tell you what I haven't done. Place one new Z unit on an empty start space. Hang on, we'll just do that first. So let's get the bag, pick one out, and we get a five strength unit. So let me put that on a stand. There we go, and we could put that on the forest track. The reason for that is we don't want it on the mountain track because we want to keep the Lucky Strike mine open as long as possible. Okay, so we've done that, and we've got the 2Z movement on the suburb track. So here we are, so that's one move to 6th Street, and then it's going to move here to East Iraq. There's a civilian unit here, which is no longer defiant, because the Zeds have shuffled into town. So get rid of that, and normally what would happen here is a hand-to-hand -hand combat. But because of the card, I think we can freely retreat, we can. So they are going to retreat to Farmingdale University. Coolness. Right, that is the end of the Zeds phase. Next up 
is the action phase. And here we are at the action phase. So let's have a look at the card. And unfortunately, we only get one event action. So let's move the clapper board. There we go, it goes on to one. That is pretty much it for the card, so I'll just discard it there. Righto. So, what are we going to do? First thing to mention is, and uh, thanks to Brett on BGG, he pointed out that the player action marker, it doesn't stick with the player character that I picked, Captain Piazza. It is actually my action, and as a solo player, I only get one. Yeah, so I've got a single action, but I can assign it to any unit that I'm controlling, and I'm controlling all the civilians, the heroic civilians, and each hero. So I can actually assign it to anybody. Now, fortunately, last turn I wanted Captain Piazza to take two actions anyway, so um, I probably would have used it with her anyway, so no harm done. But this turn, I'm actually going to give it to Sheriff Hunt. So Sheriff Hunt is going to get my player action. Right, oh, so who's going to go first in the action phase? Surprisingly enough, it's going to be Sheriff Brett Hunt. So Brett on BGG has allowed Brett in Farmingdale to get an extra action. So let's get to it. Let's zoom in on Sheriff Hunt and see what he's going to do. And here he is. So he's going to spend his player action and... No, he's not. He's actually, sorry, sorry, wrong way around. He's going to spend his leadership action first. So he's going to spend that. And he could tell any civilian unit, like, to sort of move, like he did last time when these guys went here. So he's going to tell Angelina and the Furies they're going to go up here. Uh, not up here, they're going to go up here because we've got two lots of zombies now on the forest track. So they've got a movement of four, as you can see. So they're just going to bolster this track a bit. So the one, two, three, four. They've roller skated to the farm. So they are all there. Now he's going to spend the player action and he's going to use that on himself. And he's going to move down this track. So he's going to help these guys down here. So he's going to go one, two, three, four, and go to Beauville. So that is Sheriff Brett Hunt's turn. The other reason I've done that is there are two civilian units here. His leadership ability is moving civilian units and stuff around. So he may be, it gives him a bit of flexibility. He's got two sets of units here. Can't quite see that. Hang on, I'll just move the camera a bit. There you go. So he's got the unit in Beauville and he's got the unit now at Farmingdale University. He can tell them where to go. They, ha they only have to be within one space. So both of these can essentially take his orders. So that's why I've moved him there. Right, so that's Sheriff Brett Hunt who has just gone. Who will be next? Next, we are going to see Mr. Johnson. And here we are with Mr. Johnson. And what's he going to do? Well, he's going to use our event action. So we'll move that down. And he's just going to move two to the Lucky Strike mine. So both he and Captain Piazza are at the Lucky Strike mine. Like the Zeds, as far as stacking rules go, you can only have two. You can only have two sets of Zeds. On a space and you can only have two heroes or civilian sort of combination on a space so we're fine to have those two on the same space so that is cool unfortunately he's not going to scavenge yet because we haven't really got many actions but we'll get him there once he's there um as we go on in the game we will look to move captain piazza let's move her back to the town center it's bound to all start going off and I'll need her ability on whatever track goes real bad. So <laughs> that's what we'll do. Um, Mr. Johnson will try and support, support those civilians, but his main priority is scavenging for ammo at the Lucky Strike mine, I think. 
Right, so at least he's got there now. So that is cool. So that is it for Mr. Johnson. Next up, we have... Well, we may as well do Captain Piazza. Captain Piazza has no actions, unfortunately. We've got no event actions, and we've already used the player action. So she's just stuck at the Lucky Strike Mine for the time being. After her, we do have Deputy Schmidt. And Deputy Schmidt does have an action. He's got his initiative character action. So let's go and see the Deputy. And here's Deputy Smith. Now, he can't really... Uh, he can move. He could move up to Ingerberg, but I think he's fine where he is at the nuclear plant. So we're going to take a bit of a long shot. Rather than waste his initiative token, he's going to spend his initiative token, but he's going to spend it on foraging. Now, foraging, he'll only get, like, a single die roll, I think. So... Da, 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 da. And it's a named space. I'm just trying to check if the nuclear plant... Hang on. I'll just check if the nuclear plant's got anything special about it. I don't think so. Yes, he can forage here. He can forage at the nuclear plant. It is allowed. So, we'll put that there. Now, he only gets a single die roll. And I think he needs to roll a six. Or whatever. For other name spaces, yeah, a six. <laughs> but we may as well use his action up. Come on, Schmidt. Yes! He does it. He gets a six. <laughs> so we're back up to seven. So a bit of luck there. But um, as I say, I didn't want to move him any closer, particularly. I thought we may as well uh, do a Hail Mary and it's come off we've got an extra ammo so brilliant right so that is it for the action phase we've done all our actions so it's all finished right oh so let's get on with the housekeeping phase and here we are at the housekeeping phase all pretty straightforward we just flick over all our tokens so they're ready again for next turn and that is that as far as the turn went it went okay especially <laughs> rolling that six and getting an ammo that was uh, that was just lucky because we're not fighting or anything there's not yet that many zombies on the board there wasn't that many options for as regards actions there was still quite a few um but like deputy schmidt Let's leave him there, because uh, I'm fully expecting these guys to get shoved back anyway. So we'll leave him there, just sort of ready to help out, I think. We've got Sheriff Hunt up here, trying to help support this track. Um, he's got two civilian units that you can sort of, can, well, order about, basically. So that gives him a bit of a chance to use his leadership ability action. It's a bit bad on the forest track. We've got two units on there, two Z units. We've sent the, we've sent Angelina and the Furies up there to sort of help out, but again, that might just be a holding job. Uh, Mr. Johnson, he's now at the Lucky Strike Mine, so hopefully we will have a few spare actions in the turns that come up in order to get ammunition through foraging. Captain Piazza didn't do anything this turn. We didn't have enough actions. But we will certainly be looking to get her back down to town centre now. Um, we've got a strong civilian unit in, at Lefty's Pass. So that and Mr Johnson, I think, should be able to hold the, the Lucky Strike mine for at, at least a time. Hopefully we can get two or three ammo out of that. Captain Piazza will shove back to the town centre and then whichever track is looking really grim, then we shall look to bolster it with her and she can do some fighting and firing and all the rest of it so um yeah we've still got a lot of ammo so that's good we picked up an ammo foraging so you know let's start firing um i prefer kill as much well take as much health off zombie units by gunfire if we can once it gets to hand to hand you're virtually guaranteed to if not get defeated, you will start losing health 
and being shoved back, made to retreat, all that sort of uh, fun and laughs. So um, we'll have to start trying using up some of this ammo to try and uh, knock back a few of these Z units. Right, oh, so that is it for turn two. As with turn one and the introduction, if you notice any errors, if you would be so pleased, please, please, please let me know and I will do my best to fix it. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks so much for all the subscriptions. Thanks so much for all the comments, for all the error corrections and for all the help and support. It is very much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you to everybody who's been across to Board Game Links to upvote the site. Again, very much appreciated. This is the end of turn two, and I do hope that you will join me for turn three. As I say, very short episode again, but it is extremely hot here. So I will keep it down to a single turn. I hope you join me for turn three, but until then, this is me, Cat Weasel, signing off. Toodaloo!